Hi, I'm Mark Manis, Director of Instruction at the Golf Center at the Highlands. And today I want to talk to you about the Back to the Target Drill. It's one of my favorite drills. I use it all the time. Most of the golfers I see slice the golf ball. Consequently, it just tells me they have a tough time squaring the club face. It can be for a variety of reasons, but many times it's because they're just trying too hard with their lower body. Body's getting out ahead of the golf club, so we slow it down by turning you back to the target. I'll show you how that works in a second. But more importantly, if you already hooked the ball, exit now. You don't want to do this drill. Not necessary. So for the slicers out there that are sticking around, here's what we want to do. My normal address position, I'm going to take to this board as if I were trying to hit it down my target line. Without changing where my torso is, I don't want to move my torso here. I simply want to turn my feet. And you can see what's happened here. I've turned my feet almost 90 degrees, it's probably 65 or 70 degrees, so that I am now roughly back to the target. Guess what's going to happen here? It's going to be real hard for me to whip my body through and get out in front of it to the point where I can slice the golf ball. Here's how it should look. Same target, same swing. That was a pretty wicked hook reality is when I do this drill I'm trying to get the player to overhook the golf ball. The reason is this. I've hit one that way. That was way too much hook and let's say I hit four or five and I've got way too much hook I don't have to turn my feet back that far. I can turn them back less. So I might address the golf ball again but only turn back maybe 45 degrees. And now let's see what happens. That's less hook. You can't see that golf ball fly, but I promise you the first one was a quick hook. That last one was a pretty good draw. I don't need to set myself up back to the target very often. I draw the ball pretty easily, but the reality is for most golfers, this is a tremendous drill. Notice I didn't force the club through. I didn't do anything extra to hit it. I allowed the club face to pass my hands as it went through and turn over, which caused a hook. Take some time, tee up some golf balls, Turn yourself back about 45 degrees. You want to check where that is? Take a couple of shafts and put them on the ground. Set one at 45 degrees to your target line. Make sure the ball is opposite your left armpit here when you do it. You should be facing the golf ball and the ball is forward enough to be there. That's the greatest challenge of this drill is getting your ball position right. If you'll spend a few minutes, mess around with this drill a little bit, I think you might see something you haven't seen in a long, long time. A nice solid draw. Take some time, try the drill. I know it's going to help you.